<clears throat> All right, welcome back to Dyson Spear Program. Look at that big gas giant. Looks like Jupiter that we're uh, actually orbiting around. Okay, so we do have a plan for today. At least this episode. Uh, and that is to work on the uh, the red science cubes, the red matrix. They're called energy. These are called electromagnetic, and these are called energy. So we need to get hydrogen and the um, energetic graphite. So I need to get uh, some refineries in my inventory. See, it doesn't look like I grabbed any yet, so. That's a solar panel that I really can't do anything with solar panels on this planet. Because they require uh, silicon, or silicone, to make, and. Uh, So we can't get this, we don't have any of this stuff on the planet. We actually have to fly to a different planet to start mining that. So let me grab some of these refineries. It looks like it, it is stalled for some reason. What is this missing? We're not getting stone on our, well, we don't have any stone on our line. Let's go, we'll have to fix that. Just follow this belt to a place right there where it ended. And so, I didn't put that belt back when I put that splitter in, so I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, I'm going to have to go around the splitter, so. There we go. This, this, this is the splitter I'm talking about. Okay, so now we should get some more of these refineries, and we do we need some more of them. I, uh, eight's not enough. So. I like it about sixteen of them. kind of slow. I wonder if I should uh, use the faster sorters. It's a pretty good delay. I can uh, I can use the faster sorters easily if I could. Boy, I can't even really see. I'm just going to leave it since I can't really see that. It's just, it'd be dangerous to start trying to delete things in there. Yeah, we've got 13, so I'd like about 16. Got, okay, we've got the oil extractors. That's good. So, um, let's get some more belt. Let me check on something on tech. I want to just see if I got. Yes, you know, so I didn't finish this one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. So we do have motors now on the uh, bus. So. Should be right here down at the end. There they are. There we go. 
So that'll give me faster walking speed, so that'll help. And I'm sure we have enough of these now. So let's go ahead and fly to our science area. That's somewhere about this direction, I think. Yeah, I can see it in the way over here. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I, I literally flew in the wrong direction. So here, it, there it is, way over here. So this looks like a good spot right here if we have, oops, if we have any of those. Oh, we only have stone. I need to find the um, crude oil outcroppings. So let me check on the, the map. There's one right there. I like about three of them. There's another one. And there's another one here. So, but this is a pretty good start. There's one there too. So that that's pretty good. Let's go right. Let's go to this location here. So that, that, right away you can see I'm walking faster now. So let's see if there's any other, um, if the next one, no, that takes red, so we don't have that yet. That's what we're going to make next, though. Okay, and somewhere we should see, ah, there it is right there. So I'm going to put the, um, the extractors on top of here. Oops, that's just a rock. over here and good we have a coal vein nearby we need we'll need that too so see the output comes on the other side of that so there's the output right there and there's another one right over here oh those are coal veins there's another st um, crude oil seat So there's two. That's pretty good. A pretty good start. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up our uh, tech is way over there. But so probably here. I'm looking for a fairly straight stretch of land. That looks pretty good right here. So let's. And do I have? I don't think I automated my um, foundation. I should probably do that. Oh, there, there, I have some of it right here. So let's, I'm just trying to get this water, these water areas pushed up so that we can kind of use more of this space here. Okay, so I'm going to put a line of refineries down here. Like such. So the refineries. And we'll put them that way and just start going basically. This facility will produce multiple products. To divide them, you need to set a filter on the sorter. You can use tab or the arrow keys on the right side of the keyboard to quickly set the filter when building the sorter. Okay. So now you know, you've been informed. So let's see if we put one power pole here. Can it can it reach it? Wants to be every two. It looks like so. 
I think I'm just going to put them as close together as possible. Oops. do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Here goes twelve. Here goes twelve. So, so it looks like. Can I? I it looks like I could put like another row of them, but I really don't want to. Let's just go with 12 and see how it works out. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 would be one more. So, I've tried this in several attempts, previous playthroughs, that where I'd had two, two rows of them. But it was really kind of difficult working with the belts and the sorters. It was kind of kind of difficult. So I'm going to just uh, have one line of these. And I'll kind of explain why. Oops! Boy, that was I had that all perfect, and then I messed up the last little click. So once we get red science, the red matrices going we'll be able to research a, a different way to to crack this uh, these chemicals out of this petroleum oil and uh, we'll we'll end up I'll end up putting another row I'm going to try to put another row right next to this one and do the cracking kind of one-to-one -one. and I'm not sure if it's going to work based on because the numbers might be off but uh, I'll just have to wait and see so let's put this these power lines can go I'm not sure let's just put them every every two I guess Our, using up our power. Okay, let's get the power actually connected up. And we'll do a check on power. Okay, we're doing good. So let's slowly fill this thing in. You know, two rows of eight would have probably been a uh, much tighter package. You know, a lot of, not, it would be half the length that this is, but, uh, well, not half the length, but this is only 12, I guess. So, but uh, when I do that uh, next type, the next, next type of cracking, I will be producing more output, more hydrogen than this can do on its own because I'll, I'll actually be getting uh, more hydrogen out, so I won't. I hopefully, won't need as many. And I'll just we'll see about balancing later on. So let's just let our construction bots finish these belts. And then I'll have to run the uh, the sorters. Now there's two outputs. There's one input, the a crude oil that we've already set the, those refiners down, or these extractors. These are the refiners. 
So this is the extractor. It makes crude oil, then we'll feed this thing crude oil, and it's going to be outputting hydrogen and and uh, a refined oil, it's called. So there's two outputs. But what we're going to do, we can set the recipes. So there's the uh, outputs. So one one of those crude oils in, and then the hydrogen and the refined oil out. But we're going we're going to simply um, let all of the output go onto one belt, and then we'll use a splitter to filter it off into the two components after it, after the end of the belt is reached. I only have six of these. Let's just use these to do it then. So let's have this be the input side. I'm sure these are more... I don't think I need the... I'm just going to fly back and get some more of those. Uh, the slower sorters. So let's hopefully I'm fl kind of flying in the proper direction this time. Yeah, here we are. I'm going to grab some of that top. Uh, graphite while I'm here. And if I can find it. There it is. Follow the power lines. Fancy, but to just okay, let's it's kind of difficult with the sorters because you end up, you know, hitting the thing behind them. One thing I'm kind of worried about is that my belt will be filled up before it gets to the end. And if that's the case, I'll have to do something different. So. But I can run two belts. Let's see, if it, if it doesn't fill up, we'll, we'll just go with it. But if it does fill up, I'll run two belts. And I'll have one of these uh, sorters going to one belt and one sorter going to another. So I'm going to put two sorters on each one so that it's able to output quickly enough to keep the thing operating. That was what I'm not sure if it if one would do it. If I, one might be too slow, but maybe not. Maybe I could have gotten by with with just one. Let's go ahead and hook up the, um, the crude oil. So we have one all the way over here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one over. And then combine it with the other belt. So. Yeah. so 
come over to here. sure how much power this thing will take to operate, but that might be enough. None of those are close enough to actually fire it off, huh? Yeah, it looks like that's enough to power it. So we're going to put a splitter down and combine the two belts. And then take this down here and then there's the equator I think so he's gonna go to here and then to there and that's, that's just about finished some more power Just almost enough. I think it needs a little more power, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Since I don't have any more of those turbines, I'll just run power to this location. Okay, now let's start setting our uh, recipes. So I'm going to hold... Let go of the mouse and hold the, um, I'll start running straight and just pressing the paste key as I walk along. And there we go, we're all set. So we can delete the end point here. And where's our sciences over there? Okay. So we need to funnel off the hydrogen looks like I need to run back to the other end so the belts can be finished and then one side's going to be the fuel and the other side's going to be the hydrogen and the hydrogen needs to go to the labs that 
we don't have yet. So let's do those over here. Probably have to. I'm going to move this power pole. Let's go down and get the belts finished. Now the hydrogen should be coming out on that, and then the whatever else is will be coming on this end. So let's just clean that up, and we're going to be sending this to uh, kind of need to go the other way with it. Let's go ahead and use a different belt. So I'm going to use this side here. Send them both over that direction. So right about there. You know, I don't think I. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to del terminate this one. I didn't think that through. That's the hydrogen one, so I'm not going to delete it. But I am going to, to terminate this one. And it's going to go into a liquid storage tank. That we can't place because of the, the water. Okay, we can place it here though. And hopefully that belt will um You built a storage tank. It is more suitable for storing fluid than the storage. Each storage tank can only store one single type of fluid and can be built vertically. However, once it has been removed, all the stored fluid will be devastated. Okay. So let's get rid of this belt. Come on, come on. Trying to delete it before they place it so that we don't have to waste that placement. Okay, that is that. And now we need a source of um, the uh, energetic graphite and we make that using uh, smelters on, on a coal miner.
so we just need to find a coal source anywhere nearby this location. I mean, it seems like kind of a long ways away, but it's really not too bad. I just, I may have to end up flying back to get more builds. And Almost guarantee it. I didn't. Well, let's check them out. Okay, we do have those coal veins right there. And that's probably closer than this is over here. Yeah, I think I think it is. All right. I can already set up to use it so let's go ahead and just do one more I'm gonna do two miners on it well no let's let's just go with one and see if it's enough well, I, I kind of doubt if it's going to be enough but so we're gonna put uh, some smelters down Paste, paste, oops. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Okay, and then we're going to run this belt somewhere near that other one we just ran. So it's going to be down along here. That's, so it's ended up a pretty good, a pretty good spot, really. And then down and it there and then combine it with that one and it looks like we are out of belts. Follow the power lines. some more of these. Not sure why I quit flying. Like it gets kind of stuck. It doesn't know where I, where it is. And <laughs> okay. 
Okay, and here we are. Yeah, let's get the belts finished over here. Put a chest to capture some of these. Oh, I don't think I have any. It's for fuel, to, for my power suit, so that uh, I'll have a place to, to grab fuel down here if I need it. Okay, we're gonna make uh, not you know just like that. We're gonna have four. Oh great! I didn't bring any. Well, that's fine. At least we have a start. Just with this many, we'll be able to start the search so it'll be okay two rows. That's okay. So there's a piece to the red energy matrix and we'll put in some power poles and we'll put it we join together to go in between. I left room for it. So it's going to go between these guys.
Okie dokie. Hook up our power. And we should be in business. So we haven't finished the belt yet. the uh, energetic graphite hits the um, the labs we'll be making our first red energy matrix science packs or cubes there they go we have to set outputs, don't we? I'm sitting, standing here watching and expect something to happen. There we go. Now we're finally making some science. Okay, so we can start researching the uh, red, the red science items. So let's take a look at the First one I wanted to do was the this one here. That gives me more energy, so I I can fly for longer periods without falling down out of the sky. This will give me faster move speed, more inventory, and more of the uh, construction bots. So let's fly over and get some more of the of the labs. I think I'm heading in the wrong direction. Follow the power of morals, yes. because I can upgrade the to start doing that cracking I was talking about I can show you the tech that, that, that I want to do so that's not it That's not it either. There it is, right here. So that gives us a, a better form of, uh, or it gives us additional options for creating more of the hydrogen gas. So if you can get your your world to be you know more compact and everything's kind of all in one location more power to you 
I felt like, uh... Like I needed to, exp to expand out because I just didn't have enough uh, land space with big enough, big enough area to get anything done. So we should be able to speed this up immensely. So first off we'll place it the fourth one here. sorters and then get some output and now we'll get these things stacked up and we should be able to, to uh, research Another recent, another item that will allow us to stack even higher than just three. So first thing you'll notice is that this is from what my experience is that will hydrogen will start running out. We won't be making hydrogen fast enough. if we should be using the faster inserters. Oh, it looks like we're running out of power. I'm going to start running lines of uh, new turbines down here. I don't think those are even hooked up to the grid. Are they? Yeah, that's hooked up to that. Still not making quite enough power. There are other ways to, to generate power. This is just kind of quick and easy. And it's free, free energy. so close to being maxed out. Let's just keep working at this. So like I said, you can see the hydrogen is actually starting to um, thin out and we're probably not making quite a bit enough, we're probably not making enough hydrogen to, where these things are probably waiting for hydrogen to show up. Well, maybe not. I wonder if we should be using the faster inserters. I'm going to go ahead and redo these and see if it makes a difference.
Okay, so you can see the hydrogen's falling way behind. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and um, end the episode here, and the next episode we'll research the um, that special kind of cracking that will hopefully give us more hydrogen and speed up this process. So thanks for watching.